be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to Hello my friends, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in the kitchen to do some cleaning but mostly decorating for fall and I cannot wait to share it with you. So I'm just going to jump right in with a little bit of cleaning. Now this rug is actually a ruggable rug and it was very dirty so I'm just tossing that in the wash to get started. So long story short, my fall scents aren't quite here yet. I have not received them, but they are shipped, so hopefully very soon. But I did order all the Mrs. Myers fall scents from Grove Collaborative, and so I will switch over to that when they get here. But today I'm just using the mint scent in the multi-service cleaner, and it just does a really nice, fresh and clean smell. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. Never knew how much I needed you. Mm. It should have been you. Another time, another place. I just know. Today's video is actually the second fall decorate with me that I have shared. If you missed my tiered tray one, I will link that above for you, but you will see that I already have them styled and decorated in my kitchen. So I'm going to be leaving them as is. Absolutely love it. And once I decorated those, it, I mean, it was on, it was time to decorate for fall. Oh, you know. Till my lungs give out your beautiful Back in, it was probably late winter, we actually ship lapped our peninsula out here and I am obsessed, I love it. It's just like the perfect amount of character out here. However, I have not done a good job of keeping it clean. The kids sit up here for, I mean, most of our meals, probably 85% of our meals. And so I'm just giving it a good wipe down, dirty shoes and food, you name it, it's probably on there. <laughs> but it's coming clean rather easily. So that was a nice surprise. And then I also have like a little trick in between the wood slats to get inside there. I'm actually just using a butter knife with my microfiber cloth. That's about the extent of the cleaning that I am going to get done today because I really want to focus on the decorating piece, starting with our pantry door. Now this was actually the new wreath that I just picked up from Kirkland's. I really wanted a pop of orange on this wall to go along with the rest of my decor and I think it fits perfectly. 
I've been waiting here for you all along. Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. Because I have so many cute seasonal mugs, it is now time to pull back out my mug rack. This is one from Amazon and I love it. You can fit up to six mugs on the little hooks on the top, but you can also decorate in the tray, which I absolutely love. And so I'm just adding these two mugs that I got last year from TJ Maxx. They were super cheap, but I just love them. Just like the perfect pop of orange. And then I'm just adding a pumpkin, a canister, and then I was gifted the cutest little mini cutting boards from my friend. I just picked these up actually at my P.O. box on this day, and I am obsessed. So thank you so much, Rita, for sending me those. If you are looking for mini cutting boards for like a tiered tray, you need to check out her shop, which I will link below. I actually got a set of four, and so I will show you in the video. I have one on here, or two, I guess, and then I have one on each of my other tiered trays. It's been so cold without you. I'm not gonna lie. Don't know what I do without you. Maybe we could try, try to figure out a way to put our past aside. Earlier in the day, I actually started the dishwasher and I had put a lot of things that I actually planned to decorate with in there. They were just looking a little bit dusty. So things for my shelves and that um, little cabinet that sits on our countertop are all in here. So I definitely needed to get this unloaded so I can use them to keep on decorating. God, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone one of my favorite parts to decorate in the kitchen is this chicken wire shelf from Hobby Lobby. They do still sell it in the stores and at one point it was back available online, but I love it. It's so fun. I always say this, but I switch it out every single season and holiday, but I do have a couple of standard pieces that I like to keep in there. One of them being my butter dish and then the other being the sugar and creamer. They just fit in perfectly. And so I'm gonna leave those there. I'm just adding some pumpkins into the bottom to give me just a little pop of color down there. And then this sign I actually got last year from Kirkland's, I had it here last year and I just, it's a perfect fit. So I'm decorating it very similar to last year, but I am going to add some new canisters that's going to coordinate with some of my other decor in the kitchen. Now I bought these, these are like a antique copper look they're from Amazon, but they're sold out on there. I did see they are available on Walmart's website individually, so I will try to link those down below. She will never know, na -na. Never know, na -na. She will never know, na -na. Never know, na -na. She'll never know. It's like she stole my heart. Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've got a little... 
I decided to actually remove the bottom basket from this wall panel. I never know what to call this, but I removed the bottom basket so I could hang a cute towel. This one was from last year from Target Dollar Spot. And then I decided I wanted to add just a little bit more. And so I pulled one of my cutting boards from off of the countertop and I'm actually just using a twist tie to secure it on here. I mean, I'm just using what I have, I suppose. Moving over to our dining area, in true Crystal Terra fashion, I have all of my decor spread out on our kitchen table to fill up the shelves. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, when the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken so the actual top shelf is taller than the other ones. And so I do have a couple of like standard pieces that do not fit on the other ones. So I'm going to start with those first and just kind of work my way around. These shelves can be kind of difficult because you do not want them to be too cluttered. It's almost like you're decorating two hutches. One of my favorite pieces I picked up this year from Kirkland's was this copper pumpkins bucket that I shared in my shop with me video. I decided to use it in here on the bottom shelf. So I'm just going to add some of my rolling pins as well as some pumpkins. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad that you are here and joining me for today's video. One thing you should know about me is I am truly obsessed with fall and I definitely go all out with decorating. I just love it. We have our wedding anniversary in the fall, lots of birthdays, and we are very big football fans. So we love to host gatherings, which this year might look a little bit different, but we just love fall and everything that goes along with it. Now, if you aren't already subscribed, I would be so happy if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around. Lots of decorating still to come. I think the next video I will be sharing will be a living room where I will be decorating our mantle, maybe our foyer and office. I'm not quite sure yet, but I believe that video will be coming up next.
not too long ago, I actually shared a decorate with me video on this space right here. And I really love how it turned out. Some of the pieces are missing, but I do not want to switch it out completely because I just love it so much. So I'm just going to take everything off, wipe it down and make just a few changes over here. I wasn't sober and I was thinking out loud. I spoke of your bravery, your wit and audacity. Of coming over and letting go of it all. Please move. Fall is probably my favorite time of year to decorate our dough bowl because it is so easy. I just put a piece of scrap wood in the bottom to help prop things up and I'm just going to fill it with pumpkins and a few floral picks to finish it off. To finish off this space, I'm going to be hanging my new copper sign from Kirkland's. It'll coordinate, I think, with the rest of the small pops around the room. But I do not want to put any holes into our ship lap, so I'm just using some of these Velcro command strips to hang it up. Makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. Hold my hand. Could you hold my hand? Look me. That's all I need And I'll be alright I'll be right here I swear that I'll stay here with you Hold me closer I wanna stay here with you All that we have is each other now I promise I won't leave your side If you have any questions where any of the decor is from that I shared with you in today's video, I will try to link as much as I can down below in the description box. But if I did miss something, definitely let me know in the comments and I will make sure to get back to you. Here's a little peek at that mini cutting board that I added to this tray as well. I just cannot get enough. They are so adorable. But that is going to be all the decorating in today's video. I will more than likely make a few changes and I will share it all in a house tour coming up here on the very last day of the month. So stay tuned for that. But I'm absolutely loving all of the pops of copper and orange out here. It feels so cozy and we are totally ready for fall. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.